On our first day in New York, we took the shuttle and headed north to Storm King, the playground of giants. We quickly ate lunch at the cafe before exploring the 500-acre open-air sculpture museum. Storm King provides bike rentals on a first-come, first-served basis. It was too late for us to rent, so we walked most of the way. The museum also provides a tram that stops at several locations. We spent about five hours at Storm King before the shuttle took us back to Port Authority. Then we headed to Daniel, a two-star Michelin restaurant, for dinner. We did a four-course tasting menu and each chose different dishes to try. Even with the four we chose, Daniel provided us with multiple appetizers and desserts before and after, leaving us pretty full. At the end, they gift you with a pastry to take home and a printed menu of what you ordered that night. Day two was a day of lots of eating. We mainly walked and followed our friend who took us on an eating tour. We shared only a couple dishes at each place so we wouldn't be too full. We took a little detour to the Brooklyn Bridge, but only walked halfway because it was getting pretty hot. Towards the middle of the day, we killed some time by drinking before our dinner reservation at 9.30. Our friend took us to a bar Abe Lincoln used to frequent, which only serves two kinds of beers. We also went to a speakeasy hidden behind a phone box. For dinner, we went to Bohemian. 
You can only make a reservation if someone you've known has also made a reservation and knows their phone number. They offer a tasting menu as well, in which the whole table has to agree to. Instead, we picked our own dishes a la carte to share. For the quality of food and unique ambiance, this would be another restaurant on my list to return to whenever I visit New York. Day 3 was a bit more relaxed and it was mainly exploring and shopping around Manhattan. My boyfriend hadn't been to most of these places, so of course I had us enjoy Lady M at Bryant Park and walked around 5th Avenue. Chelsea Market, they offered whole lobsters to eat towards the back of the seafood market. We ended up sharing a small lobster together before we headed to see Anastasia. Although the Broadway show wasn't quite like the animated movie I remember, the set was quite beautiful and the music was entertaining. Afterwards, we walked to Koreatown and enjoyed some late night dinner and soju. Day 4 was another eating tour, but primarily in Flushing. Our friend took us around and we again shared small dishes at various places.
Our flight was later that night, so we were only out for a few hours before we took the hour train ride back to East Village. On the walk back to our friend's apartment, we tried some Thai-inspired ice cream. We also ate some egg tarts we took back from Flushing before we headed to the airport. I even found a creative book to enjoy for the flight home to Austin. <laughs> 